I am here tonight to warn you that you have the hope of escaping my fate. You will be haunted by three spirits. Expect the first tomorrow when the bell tolls one. Well, couldn't I take them all at once and have it done with? Expect the second on the next night at the same hour, the third upon the next night when the last stroke of twelve has ceased to vibrate. Look to see me no more, and look that for your own sake you remember what has passed between us. The apparition walked backward from him, and at every step it took, the window raised itself a little, so that when the spectre reached it, it was wide open, and he beckoned Scrooge to approach, which he did. And then he became sensible of confused noises in the air, incoherent sounds of lamentation and regret, wailings inexpressibly sorrowful and self-accusatory, Marley, after listening for a moment, joined in the, mo the mournful dirge and floated out upon the bleak, dark night. Scrooge followed to the window. The air was filled with phantoms wandering hither and thither in restless haste and moaning as they went. The misery with them all was clearly... They had sought to interfere for good in human matters and had lost the power forever.